Hi everyone, King Trevor here from the Kingdom celebrating Pride Month. It happens every June and we are proud to stand with all communities and be a proud supporter in our kingdom. We have our rainbow flag here and each color has its own special meaning. For red, it's life. For orange, it's healing. For yellow, it is sunlight. For green, it's nature. For blue, serenity. And for purple, spirit. And we have a special book to read today called Prince and Knight. Come on and join us as we read this story. Words by Daniel Hack and pictures by Stevie Lewis. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far from here, lived a charming prince who was handsome and sincere. His parents knew that soon it would be time he took the throne, but with a kingdom so grand, the prince could not rule alone. So the three of them set out and traveled far and wide on a quest to find the prince, a kind and worthy bride. The prince met many ladies, and he made them all swoon, but it was soon clear that he was singing a different tune. Thank you, he told his parents. I appreciate that you tried, but I'm looking for something different in a partner by my side. But while the royals were away, their land faced quite a scare from a dragon fast approaching, breathing fire everywhere. All the villagers ran in fear, even the soldiers hid and fled. This vicious beast is far too great. We must retreat or we'll be dead. The prince heard the dreadful news and he raced home with all his might to protect his precious realm, the prince was ready for a fight. Alas, before you fear our prince had to face the beast alone, along on horseback came a knight, cloaked in armor that brightly shone. The dragon charged upon our heroes, thinking it had already won, but the knight had a bold idea and raised his shield to face the sun. The glare hit the shining metal, blinding the dragon's fiery eyes, but it was what the prince did next that really caught it by surprise. The prince had climbed atop the dragon and tied a rope around its head. He wrapped the cord around the neck and down the body like a thread. The plan had worked. The dragon was caught. Its body was tied and bound. But the prince up high had lost his grip and was falling to the ground. The knight below jumped on his horse and they began to race. The prince was caught and free from harm, held in the knight's embrace. You saved my life and you saved mine, they said to one another, and in a flash to each it felt there simply was no other. The knight took off his helmet to reveal his handsome face, and as they gazed into each other's eyes, their hearts began to race. As the villagers returned, it became clear to those around that the prince's one true love had last been surely found. The king and queen had come back too and were overwhelmed with joy. We f have finally found someone who is perfect for our boy. And, the, and on the two men's wedding day, their air filled with cheer and laughter for the princes and his shining knight would live happily ever after. The end. Thank you for joining us today for story time. Remember, be kind, be love and be appreciative of all people. Thank you very much. See you next time.